welcome back to Kenya and we are with a lovely herd of buffalo right up ahead on the edge of the escarpment. Now the buffalo when they're not down on the swamps they really favor these seep lines that come out of the escarpment so obviously a lot of rain fall in this area and as the water falls down you get these wonderful little seep lines nice lush grass good wallowing water if we go a little bit to the right there Darby there we go there she is, a little bit to the left. Look at her, you can almost barely see her. She's got herself a nice hole, and there's some more birds for your, your Kenyan bird list, the yellow-billed ox peckers. Now, here, it's far more uncommon to see a red-billed. Oh, look at her, she's got a pink nose. It's a pink-nosed buffalo. No, wait, no, wait, don't hide. There we go. <laughs> Hello, you. It's <laughs> a very funny looking buffalo. She seems to be coming closer to come give us an inspection. Barbie, she must like those dimples of yours. That looks like just a, a slight sort of genetic mutation there, that pink nose. And she seems to be the only buffalo with... Oh no, there's another one with a pink nose. I wonder if it's related to her. Uh, back to the left. There we go. In between the other two, there we go, pink nose. Second pink nosed buffalo, a youngster as well, young a young bull by the looks of things. That's quite sweet. <laughs> I wonder if that's your mom with the pink nose. There we go, pink and pinky and pinky and pink head. Quite possibly uh, something like that that might mean they are, are related. Oh, look at the little one! Hello, sweetness! You've even got mud on your head. That's a tiny little buffalo calf walking towards us. Oh, it's so small. But it doesn't have a pink nose. No, shit. Oh, isn't this just beautiful? So we're driving in an area that, that isn't often utilized, um, judging by the road. <laughs> Can you show everyone the road? Uh, that is the road. Um, wait, don't come along a bit. Let me just check my monitor. Okay, you see that? Oh, wait, there. Oh, there. That's the road going straight into the buffalo. So we've been exploring, obviously, and we've come across quite a few of these roads that aren't very often used, but they are proving to be quite spectacular. And also, it's quite nice to be the only people out here. Probably a good 100, 150 or so buffalo here. And a hummocorp. There we go. Another one for the Kenya bird list. Now, we do see them at Juma, but I think this is the first time they've been on camera in Kenya. Lots and lots of oxpeckers as well. Oh, shame piece. Man, the little guy just made a noise. There you go. He's really coming close to inspect us. With... Pinkette, the female with the pink nose, and I think we'll keep Pinky as the male with the pink nose. That's it. It's, I think it's probably because we've been sitting here for probably, oh, I don't know, a good 10 or 15 minutes. That they just got quite used to us, so they're, they're just coming to have a, an inspection. And you, you can see some of them lying down, so they're getting more comfortable in our presence again. And as you can just hear the amount of oxpeckers, I'm trying to see a, a red build, but so far only yellow builds. very peaceful scene up on the low part of the Ololo escarpment. Sorry Megs, can you just send that question again? Sorry, I'm having a bit of a problem with my earpiece. There's a yellow bulldog pecker. I, James is wondering why the, the, the yellow bulldog pecker is more common in the Mara than, than, than the red build. Well, James, it's very interesting in question. So, I mean, as soon as you move out of South Africa, even into Botswana and places like that, uh, the, the, the yellow builds do become more common. I mean, you see them on donkeys and cows in the, uh, on the edge of the Okavango. Um, I think it could be uh, the fact that, well, the, the red build oxpecker uh, in this area, oh, I mean, they're not uncommon here. It just seems that the yellow bulls are more common. And that just could be because of the, the, the big game that we get here. A lot, lot more sort of large mammals, buffalo, and, of course, the big herd of wildebeest. And, 
I'm just going to have a quick look at their distribution in Kenya. And they're pretty well covered in comparison. And well, um, well, I know in South Africa the yellow builds were more commonly associated with with with, with cattle, and uh, the dip that was used on the uh, on the cattle actually was what really gave the yellow bulls a big knock. Uh, the red bulls were more generally associated. Not to say they don't go onto cows and and and. And buffalo and, and and big game, but they were more associated with your smaller, your your smaller wild animals, kudu and parla, wildebeest and stuff. So I think a lot of the yellow bulls took a, a whack by eating poisoned ticks from from insecticides that were used to prevent tick-borne diseases in cattle. Of course, that's changed. The yellow bulls are making quite a a good comeback in South Africa, but. Um, I can't really say why there's more yellow bulls than red bulls. It's just something I've noticed. Have you seen a red bull yet, Dave? Oh, yeah. Let's try at the back there. The back we got a big group. Oh. There we go. There's a yellow. There's a female. There's a yellow feeding a, a juvenile. Watch, watch this. Watch. You might give it, give it a tick. Come on, give it a tick. Oh, I lost it. Well, maybe there's two babies there with mom and dad. Um, I'm just trying to see where there are more ox peckers. They seem to be further at the back. Okay, let's go a little bit to the right. There we go, some there, that female there seems to have quite a lot right at the back on her. Uh, it's also yellow bulls and another juvenile. Hmm, I have seen red bulls. It's, oopsie, there go my binos. I have seen red bulls, it's not like they're not here, but I just haven't seen many of them. Hello, Melissa. Melissa would like to know how to identify a male or female buffalo. Melissa, aren't you very lucky because we are with male and female buffalo. Okay, let's find an impressive specimen of manhood who is looking at us rather than looking away from us. Um, oh, is, he, is that a third buffalo with a pink nose? That is a third buffalo with a pink nose. Well, let's start on her. Uh, it is a female. So uh, when you look at her horns, you can see that... The, she does have a little bit of a boss. She's quite an old female, and you can see that the, the top of her horns aren't very developed. And okay, well, just keep going to the right from her. There's a young bull there. Uh, a little bit more. There he is. That's the one. Now you can see that's even a young bull. So he's what we call a soft bossed bull. You can still see that middle section of the horns there's still hair growing there so it hasn't sort of hardened yet now on a big adult buffalo bull um, you that that whole section will be almost solid like a rock and they need that big boss for banging into each other when they're fighting over females now let's see if we can see a nice big bull who's not hiding you see one darby mm. The guy doing the Fleming grimace. Oh, there we go. He's still quite young. Oh no, the guy's put, doing Fleming grimace. Put his head down, ready. Oh. Yes, but there's a nice bull. Um, what is happening with my monitor? Sorry, I lost picture there. Okay, there we go. So there we go. That's a bit of an older bull, the one Darby. There we go. That you got there in the middle, and you can see that boss is slowly coming together. But you can still see there is some hair growth there. Now, where is an older statesman of the buffalo herd? Okay, where are you hiding? Hmm. Yes, come on. I know you're in here somewhere. I saw quite a few big bulls. Let's have a look out the back. Right at the back. Okay. Um, let's see where you're. A little bit to the left. There we go. There's a, there's a hard bossed old boy at the, right at the back there. And you can see those horns are much more massive. They're, they're, they are a bit bigger as well, uh, quite a bit bigger in some cases. The males are far more muscular uh, than the females. But the easiest way to tell them apart is definitely by their horns. The males with those very big pronounced bosses and uh, the females with uh, the less pronounced bosses that don't really join in the center. I think these buffalo are going to nap here for the evening. It looks like a good spot. They've got water. They've had a nice feed along this lovely green grass on the seat line. Look at her in the, in the, in the wallow. Now that is a comfortable buffalo. Wow. 
oh, blah, 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 argument going on in the middle there, and that's quite common in the buffets. But as you can see in the center, a lot of them are settling down for the evening. And uh, well, we're very lucky because we're going to go from a lovely big herd of buffalo here in the Maasai Mara in Kenya, remember, we're still live, to a herd of something even bigger back at Juma with Tristan.